This is an absolutely critical piece uh, of this hospital. The hospitals would not function without this. They absolutely depend on this. Well, pathology really, you could say it's the science behind the cure. Um, a lot of the, the work that we're doing basically is diagnosing. So when they go to, the, to their GP or if in a hospital and they want to test to see what's wrong with that person, they'll take a blood sample or a swab, they'll send it down to us to diagnose the disease. We're processing thousands of samples a day, but each of those samples, there's a person behind that. Joe Public's um, view of laboratories may be a bit like the chemistry laboratory in school, test tubes, a few tests. There were, I don't think there was much appreciation of the scale and the technology involved. It never, never stops. These labs operate 24-7 in support of the hospital, intensive care, um, accident emergency. If somebody has a, a lump or a bump or something that um, will be surgically removed and the sample will be sent down here for analysis. Um, and what's happening in this section is they're being dissected. That's they're, they're cutting out the tumour pieces um, to look or to look at the samples. It's a category three containment facility, so it's for particular category three pathogens, which are ones that represent severe disease, the likes of TB. And the doors are interlocked. Just the inner door can't open till the outer one's locked, and and that the filter is filtering the air into the room. These are a lot of the COVID samples now coming in um, and just huge numbers, it's constant. COVID puts on, it's a double whammy, isn't it? We have additional work, substantially more work coming in. That's where COVID is batch analysed in there and we'll process a couple of hundred samples and they'll take about four hours to run. Traditionally, the slides would have been looked at by a pathologist, a glass slide, but they're now scanned at high resolution and then they're sent to the pathologist to view on screens. Now that those are digital, those can be transferred across the whole region, in fact, much further afield over uh, into London or wherever where specialists can look at those images and give a second opinion. All of the equipment here is linked, all very highly, highly robotic and, and uh, potential to do many thousands in our. The whole region where basically we have moved over to digital pathology and, and there are people waiting for results and, and can be extremely stressful for them. So it's, it's obviously in their interest that we do that as efficiently and as effectively as possible.